We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Nice run there. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Makes it out to about the 40, and he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. After a decent pickup, he decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That'll bring up second and They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Had his hands on it and dropped it. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. And this one is a beauty. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Strike and he drops it. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the twenty. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out around the 43 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Makes the catch and look out. He goes out of bounds at the 46. He passes it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number 16 was his intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio State's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. He scrambled. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. Oh. 
They're about four yards away here on second down. Gives it off. Good outside run there. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. Mike five, Mike five. There goes out. The handbag picks up a yard. Second and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. Zips it to the back, and down he goes at the 35. The crowd really making it difficult. They make the stop at the 40-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. He really got a hold of that one. Nice yardage on the run back. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 27. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 43. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. From their own 43-yard line, second down. And he's level at the 37. That's a loss of six on the play. That makes it third and 15. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields the punt at the 13. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Mike Farr. Mike Farr. And he 
tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. Third down. Two times, two times. Two times. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Play action. Out to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Number 18, he intends on receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and three. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Oh, excellent punt. Down at the 30-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's to the 40. Brought down right around the 40. Yard line. Fires to his receiver, first down. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Get to that quickly. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That makes this area three. He's taken down at the 27. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Ohio State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg screen. Three nothing, Ohio State. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He steps out at the 29. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Tackle around the 39-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Three down, My five, my five, my five. Go, go. He gets rid of this one. It's second and 10. Ball on the 39. And off, and he's met immediately. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. And he is drilled at the 25. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Uh, 
gets away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 39. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio State has a three-point lead. Blue 14! Blue 14! Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. And they got him for a loss. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes, so the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That that makes makes it first first from their own 39-yard line. It's first down. Five, Mike, five. Three down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Gain of 30 on the play. First down. From the 31 yard line. First down. Four down, four down. Mike Fox. Mike Fox. Down. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 22. Number two with the tackle at the 22 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Nebraska will take their second time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 15. First down. Steps out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Nebraska can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Five wide. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 42. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And 
he's tackled at the 48. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That'll make it 35. That's a great tackle at the 40. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So we've played two quarters, and this one's knotted up at three. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They'll get him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of one there for the halfback. That is a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. Watch run, watch run. Hey, look, we're going to go Mike 15, guys. Mike 15, all right? Sit up. Blue 80. He's in trouble. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Heading for the corner. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Man wide open, in and out of his hands. From their own 39-yard line, second down. Bring him down at midfield. Call it a gain of 11 yards. Man, left, that makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Go. Go. He fights forward to about the 49. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 49 yard line. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a game five yards. 
That makes it 3 right, three. Right, right. Three down, three down. High five. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Runs right for a nice game. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. From the 38-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackled for a loss. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Good open field tackle. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice run there. The quarterback held on to it and turned it into a first down. That's very frustrating for this defense. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. They'll make the sack. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnovers. It's the 11th play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. And he's level at the 32. To the sack, it's now fourth and long. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cornhuskers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Down around the 33 yard line. That makes it six and two. Hey, Mike, 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 to the left and it's going the other way he seemed a little hesitant on that throw and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off
from their own 43 yard line. First down. Nebraska is up a field goal. Gets out to around the 48. That brings up second and one. Five. Broke away from one. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Slings it. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. 6-3, Nebraska. Great three quarters of action. Tight ball game. And now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Caught, open field, tackle at the 18. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. It's first and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Scrambling around. The 10, the 5. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Double tight, double tight. Get that quarterback team on. They line up in the jumbo set. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. High five. High five. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Nice move, and he scores. And he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 56-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Big opening. And down he goes at the 45. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Hit immediately. Call it a gain of one yard. Mike, that Mike, makes it second and ten. Mike's, Mike's 15. Mike's 15. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Four down, four down. Come on, 16. I'm coming, 16. 
And he's going to come up with a sack. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike 15. Mike 15. Get up. Blue seven. Get up. Quick throw to the tight end, and they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Runs it left for a decent game. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 40. Just over two minutes in the game. Go! 28! He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The Buckeyes will use their first time out of the half. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. The Buckeyes are going to call their second time out. So the option play gets some big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. He carries the ball for a nice game. Ohio State's out of timeouts. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 17 yard line, first down. The 10. He's tackled at about the seven yard line. That's good for a And this play is number eight on the drive. First and goal. Four down, four down. Mike we should five, just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 13-3, Nebraska. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.